The schools are addressing concerns tonight after an offensive video started spreading around social media, allegedly involving a high school student. Tonight, our Emily Lawnecker on what that video shows that has people so upset and why a recent graduate felt so compelled to share it. John and Andrea, the school district says the video you're about to see wasn't taken on school property during school hours or at a school event. That being said, school district officials say they are questioning at least one of the students seen in it. We can't air most of the video's sound. That's because the person you see yelling into the bullhorn is repeatedly shouting the F word and N word. We've blurred out his face because he's reportedly a Noblesville High School student. A voice off camera tells the team. Turn around! Let me see your flag! And when he does, you see it a Nazi flag draped over the teen's shoulders. Because the first time I saw it, I was just like, this can't be kids from Noblesville. 21 year old Raven Cobbs has a friend sent her the video two days ago after it was shared all over Snapchat. Cobb herself reposted it as a way of calling out racism among students in the district where she graduated only a few years ago. And people are like, oh, well, you're white, you know, you, you shouldn't be offended. I was like, just because I'm white doesn't mean I'm not offended by those words. Cobb's post has been shared over a hundred times. The school district sent out a statement to parents making them aware of the post involving what they call ugly, racially derogatory comments. That message says in part, we want to assure you that we at Noblesville schools do not condone this type of behavior and are passionate about creating an environment where all our students and staff feel respected. Cobb says the student on the bullhorn, along with some of his friends, have contacted her, asking her to take the post down. So far, she's left it up. You know, I hate calling people out, but I will call you out if you're going to hate towards another group. Now, we spoke with Noblesville police. They have also seen the video. They say there doesn't appear to be any criminal activity in it, and they say they have examined the park where the video was shot, and there doesn't seem to be any damage there either. Emily Longnecker, Channel 13, Eyewitness News.